Welcome back. Well, this morning's farmer's market find is the Spot Hawaii, which is a dog service that gives back to man's best friend. That's right, Christine. And Dallas Ontiveros, he joins us now live from Kaka'ako with more on how to love. Good morning, Dallas. Hey, good morning, Christine and Chris. You all said it best. So you know what? Valentine's Day is just a few days away, and some of us might be spending our Valentine's Day with man's best friend. So why not give back with That's the Spot Hawaii with Dominique. Good morning, Dominique. Good morning. How's it going? I am good. Thank you. How are you doing? We're doing great. Thank you so much for joining us here on Take Two for this week's uh -huh. Farmer's Market Find. And of course, we have our first client. This is Ryder. Tell us a little bit about Ryder before we get into the details. Ryder is a five-year-old pocket pit. And, um, Actually, he was born with swimmer syndrome. So if you're not familiar with that, it's where their legs splay out. So he would actually be laying on his chest with his four legs just splayed out. Okay. So his mother rescued him. He was actually going to be put down. So she rescued him and rehabilitated him to um, almost being practically perfect. He just okay. got a little sway in his gait. But other than that, he walks fine and he's all normal. And this is called swimmer's syndrome? Syndrome, yes. Okay. Yes. And so he kind of just has a habit of going up and down because of some of his joints, right? Not necessarily up and down. Uh -huh. um, because she had to rehabilitate him, so she actually would tape his legs up for him so they would correctly stand up straight, and he had to do swimming to get his muscles to work properly. Uh -huh. So sometimes he has a little bit of swish when he walks, and it already runs and things like that, yes. Okay, well, good to know. I didn't know about that. And if anyone who is curious, That's a Spot Hawaii has a lot of different pop-ups that go on throughout the year, so definitely check them out on their Instagram. So I want to ask you, Dominique, because Ryder's really comfortable with you. Um, <laughs> when it comes to a new dog, how do you get familiar with the animal, um, you know, see what they're sensitive to, and also where the pain is at. Where do you find the pain? Um, well, actually, that kind of, um, actually, how it works is when I come to your house, I'm a mobile with dog massage therapist. It's more convenient for the animal mm -hmm. and less stress for everybody. So when I come into your house, I'll sit with your dog for about five, ten minutes. I'll give them a rub down, and I'll watch their behaviors. They're going to react to a spot if something's bothering them. So I look to see if they're going to look back at me. Potentially, if something feels warm or a little bit cold, or if they flinch when I touch stuff, that's usually the biggest indicator that something that's going on it might have a problem or an issue. Now, does the pain range depending on the dog size from big dogs to small dogs? You know, not necessarily. Um, a dog usually will not react to something that's bothering them until it's actually kind of severe. So the good thing with a massage is I'm trained to feel things potentially that could be a problem before they become an actual issue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a dog won't react to something until it's time to take them to the vet and it's really severe. You have to have surgery or it's an actual issue. So with a wellness massage, I can feel something and potentially work it out before it actually becomes an issue. But the pain tolerance for small dogs and big dogs is kind of the same. It's just they might react differently to it. Got it. Okay. And I know some of us wish our dogs can talk, but unfortunately they can't. So what are some signs and symbols that you can look for or what pet owners can look for if they have, have noticed maybe their dog or cat isn't feeling the same? Um, lifting a limb, that's a real big indicator. If when they're walking, they're kind of, you know, limping on one or lifting something up. Um, a lot of times late at night before they go to sleep, sometimes growling. If they look back and growling at something, that's an indicator that something could be wrong, something could be bothering them. They could maybe have some soreness in their hips or joints, so that's one big indicator. But a lot of times it's just raising up of a paw. Or when you go to touch something, they kind of flinch away. Or heat. If you notice anything feels a lot warmer on your dog in any other way, that could be a sign of infection or inflammation. Got it. All right. Well, Dominique, we're learning a lot with you right here. And in the next half hour, we're going to get into different techniques that you practice when you come visit a client. But this is really interesting stuff right here. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Ryder. You're dead up. You, 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 good, good boy, good boy. He's he's already in the mood. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, I, yes. I know. Reporting from Kakaka, White from Park, Dallas Oliveros, K22 News, working for Hawaii. Dallas got them all riled up now. Yeah, looks like they found the spot <laughs> yeah. right there. Ooh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Coming up next, can you spare three seconds every day to lift weights? Three seconds. Maybe. That, well, apparently, that's all you need to improve your muscle strength. We'll tell you what some researchers are now saying. That's when Take Two returns.